Okay, the fifth part of this chapter, the laws of locks. Now you need to learn and memorize these log rules. The first two are very similar to index laws that you'd have learned in year eight, year nine sometime. And all these laws of logs work for any base providing you've got the same base consistent throughout it. So log to the base A X plus log to the base A Y equals log to the base A X Y. That's how we combine it. So if you remember with um, powers, if you multiply, you add the powers together. Okay. Same here. And similar and that's called the multiplication rule same for division if you've got log a x minus log a y well from your power laws that you've learned you should be able to guess it's going to be log a x over y the power law if you've got log to the base a and say x to the power of k then what we can do and this is a really useful law we can just drop that power in front to make it k log to the base i x that's how you get rid of the power you just bring it to the front of the logarithm some special um, cases to recognize and memorize log i 1 over x is simply minus log i of x reason being 1 over x is x to the minus 1 and then bring that to the front log to the base i of i has to be 1. You can show that really easily because if you bring log to the base over it becomes i to the power of i is i to the power of 1. And log to the base i of 1 has to be 0. So if you bring this over log to the base i becomes i to the power of i to the power of 0 is 1. Okay example 10. I'm going to use these laws then to simplify some logs into a single logarithm. So we've got log to the base 3, 6, plus log to the base 3, 7. Now because we've got the same base, we can use a log rule. So we're going to use this log rule. When two logs are added, you can just simply multiply these parts. So it's going to be log to the base 3, 6 times 7. 42. B, log to the base 2, 15, minus log to the base 2, 3. Okay, same base, you can use a log rule. When you subtract, you divide. So um, it's going to be log to the base 2, 15 over 3, which is 5. C, 2 log the base 5, 3, plus 3, log to the base 5, 2. Now, okay, it's going to be the multiplication rule, but you can only use the multiplication rule when they both start with a log. So these two are causing us issues. But if you use the power rule, we can use it backwards, and we can take the number in front of the logs and just wallop it up here as a power. So that's the same as log to the base 5, 3 squared, just bring the 2 up as a power, plus log to the base 5, 2 cubed. Again, bring the 3 up as a power. And now because they both start log to the base 5, log to the base 5, we can use the multiplication rule. When you add, you just times these together. So it's going to be 3 squared, which is 9, 2 cubed, which is 8, 9 times 8 is 72. Please, one more. Log to the base 10, 3, minus 4, log to the base 10, a half. So, similar for this one, you've got log at the start. I haven't got log at the start, so this needs to wallop as a power. That's log to the base 10, 3, minus log to the base 10, a half to the power of 4. It's going to be a 16th. So now we can combine them, log to the base 10, subtract so we divide, 3 divided by 16, 16 comes to the top is 48, 6 as 16 fits into 3, 
forty eight times. Okay, uh, example eleven then. This is the opposite. This time we've got a combined log. And we have to split it up into its components. Well, these have all been multiplied, so we can split them up like so, using the multiplication rule. And then we can use the power rule just to bring these in front of the logs. Because the question said to rewrite in terms of log to the base a of x, log to the base a, y, log to the base a, z. So b. Again, we could split this up using the division rule. And then I can just pop that to the front. C. First thing to notice on this one is quite a square root, and the square root is power half. So these two are multiply, so when we split, we're going to add, divide, so when we split, we're going to subtract. Remember, y to the half is square root, and because it's divide, we subtract. So all we need to do now is bring that half to the front. D. log to the base i x over a to the 4. Okay, so we're going to split this up by subtracting. And then we can bring that to the front. And if you remember those special cases when you've got the same base and uh, and here, when they're the same, it's just equal to one. So four times one is four. That just cancels. Okay, example two. Got the equation log to the base 10 4 plus 2 log to the base 10 x equals 2. So when trying to solve an equation involving logs, you really want to try to create a single logarithm first. So try to combine them. So what I'm going to need to do first before I combine them use multiplication rule is bring this two up as a power so then they both start off with log. Now I can create a single logarithm using the multiplication rule. So it's just going to be 4 times x squared, which is obviously 4x squared. I can now bring the logarithm over. So log to the base 10 becomes 10 to the power of. So 4x squared equals 100. x squared equals 25. x equals 5. Now you may be wondering why I didn't put minus 5. So that solution doesn't exist because you can't have a logarithm of a negative value. So I can't do log to the base 10 of minus 5 so because minus 5 become 10 to the power of x and there is no such power you can put in to get a negative value. Um, like an, an exponential curve doesn't go below the x-axis. So minus 5 solution doesn't exist. Example 13. We've got log to the base 3, x plus 11, minus log to the base 3, x type 5, equals 2. So they both start with log, so I can use the division rule straight away. We create a single logarithm 
by dividing them. I can now bring this to the other side. Remember, it's not two cubed, common error. Log to the base three becomes three to the power. Remember the base here, base here. So it's going to be three to the power of two, which is three squared, which is nine. So this can come across as a multiply. So we get x plus 11 equals 9x take away 45. Just bring that across as a times. Um, bringing the x over, we get 8x. Look at the minus 45 over. We get 56x equals 7. Okay, that's all the examples in this part of the chapter. See if we can now have a go at the questions on exercise 14.